Hey guys, so it's been about two weeks since I started this YouTube channel and the 18 month passive income journey. And as a result, I've been getting a lot of feedback and a lot of comments and messages, mostly people wishing me luck, but there's also some of you who are want to join me on this journey. Uh, I've even got a few people who are starting their own websites, blogs, and even creating their own channels and doing their own passive income journey. So it's actually pretty moving, so I'm really excited about that. But since we're getting to this point, and if you want to kind of join along and start your own journey, uh, I want to touch on one thing, which is success. Mainly why it is so difficult to become successful in today's society. So I just want to kind of give you a quick background. Many years ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, I was working in venture capital and in sales and finance, and I really became obsessed with sales. So, you know, I studied all the, the greatest salespeople, read all the books, and it kind of evolved into um, more about success. So then I, I really started diving into, you know, why certain people are successful and why certain people are struggling. Uh, and for many years, I become became very obsessed with this. I mean, just myself in general, uh, I've always been a core fundamentals kind of guy. I always wanted to know how things worked. I mean, even when I was a little kid, I used to just take apart my toys just to see how they worked. You know, I didn't really care about putting them back together. I just wanted to know how they worked. And that's the same mentality I have with everything. I'm just really curious. So the big question that's out there is, you know, why are there some people who are making billions and billions of dollars and why are there people that are homeless? So it's it was a very intriguing question that really captured my attention. And I devoted a lot of my life to trying to figure out why this is. Uh, I even began to start a book, uh, which I'll talk about later, uh, because potentially I might use the book as one of my passive income streams, but it's to me it's more of a passion project, so it's not really for income. But the information that I've discovered with this, I think I can help you guys, uh, especially with success. So I mean, first off, you know, we're, we're not really meant to be successful, so to speak. Um, if you look at society, you know, there are leaders among us and then there are followers and there are people who like to work a nine to five and that are entrepreneurs, you know, everybody is different. But when you look at society as a whole, the majority of people need to be laborers. They need to be workers. Um, you know, we can't just have a place full of leaders because uh, nothing will ever get done. Everybody will be just pointing their fingers and, no, and nobody would do anything. So just the way society needs to run, we need to have a workforce. And ever since we're kids, we're always trained to follow these footsteps. You know, you need to go to school, you need to get good grades. You know, if you don't get good grades, you can't get into a good college. If you don't get into a good college, you won't have a good career. So it's very career oriented. Never did they ever talk about how to develop leadership skills, how you become a business owner, how you could become an entrepreneur. Everybody out there who's creating businesses that are worth billions of dollars, even millions of dollars have kind of strayed away from what we've been taught since childhood. So it's not necessarily that they're trying to control us and keep us down. It's just, to be honest, everybody is not created equal. And this is the number one issue um, with you know the way our society thinks is because we live in the land of opportunity and even you know we always talk about everyone is created equal you know that's not the truth everybody is not created equal uh, you know some people are super good at basketball and can dunk a basketball some people you know are smart and can do math and some people you know, everybody is different they have their own skill set so you know really in school what they kind of teach you is to find what you're skill set is and try to you know find a profession that you could thrive in that you know and that's typical among you know most people but there's a small percentage of people a small percentage of people who are leaders and to be honest leaders are the ones that actually become billionaires and millionaires uh, you know even if you think that they don't have the the type of charisma that you would say a leader would be they are a leader in their own way Literally, it all comes down to persuasion and the ability to convince somebody that your idea is the best idea. So basically, if you have that ability to draw people in, you have that ability to 
have an idea, set a goal, and be able to bring people around you to kind of go with you in that goal, then you are a leader. So as a business owner, if you can find people who have the same ideals as you, have the same passion to make what your business's goals are, make them happen, if you can get that into your business, I mean, that's a huge success for you. Any business owner would love to have their employees be as passionate about their goals as they are. But these leaders are, you know, some of them, some people say we're born into it and some people say, um, you know, it's developed. But I mean, in, in reality, when you think about anything, um, we are born into classes and it's very difficult to move up a class. And why is that? You know, I mean, if, you know, we all have the same opportunities, but why is it that everybody struggles? And a lot of it actually has to do with genetics. I mean, sorry to say, it's, it's really the truth. Um, the thing is, is that the amount of success you have really all comes down to one thing. I mean, we all have the ability to get whatever we want in life. I honestly believe that, that if you want it enough, you can get it. But that's where the issue is. You don't want it enough. Most people don't know what they want. And most people just kind of think they want things. So in genetics, it's actually, if you actually look at the way your body reacts to things, uh, we actually get a chemical response in our brain from doing specific tasks, completing certain tasks. You get a dose of dopamine and the feel-good drugs when things get done and things get accomplished or you do a certain type of thing. So that's why in history, you know, a lot of times the apple doesn't fall far from the tree from your parents or your grandparents because genetically you guys get a similar response to certain types of stimulation. So maybe, you know, back in the old days, you know, father was a blacksmith. He loved making tools. He loved uh, iron work. You know, a lot of times the kids follow in their footsteps, not necessarily to keep the tradition alive, but because they actually got fulfillment by doing the same thing and it was genetics. So the thing is, a lot of a lot of people are actually born into this position of leadership. You know, they they actually have the same reactions to certain types of things, you know, when they actually speak in front of a large group or you know, get you know, be able to see things get done, they're getting that type of response that allows them to become successful. And, you know, especially if you come into a family where that's the scenario, typically you have a lot more resources available to you because your parents are, are a lot more successful. So the thing is, not everybody has that, that desire. You know, not everybody wants to be a leader. I'm, I'm sure you guys know, you know, some people are perfectly happy with their 9 to 5 job. As long as they get to go on vacation once in a while and get to watch their favorite sports, they're perfectly content. I'm sure you know a lot of people like that, but I guarantee you something. If you're watching this video now, you're not content. And if you are trying to make a change in your life, if you're trying to change your income, then, and, then there's something different about you. And honestly, you're a small percentage of the population. But just because you may not have been born with the ability to lead, just because you may not be born in the position, social, uh, your socioeconomic status is not way up here where you have all these advantages, doesn't mean that you cannot become successful. It's just much more difficult. So I did say this a couple times in a past video, but the number one thing that really leads to change is, is pain. Pain and suffering is the number one cause of you know being able to make a change in your life fear so i gave the analogy before of you know somebody who's working out you know if you uh want to work out to lose a few pounds to look better hey go after it it's going to be a tough ride make that new year's resolution hopefully you'll stick with it but if your doctor comes to you and say that you're going to die if you don't work out if you don't change your eating habits you will die I guarantee you, you're going to have a lot easier time following through. But again, that doesn't mean that you have to die in order to make that change happen in your life. There are other ways. You know, with working out, people 
find a, a workout buddy. People, you know, go to trainers to make them feel accountable. I mean, my situation, I'm, I'm using YouTube as a way to motivate myself and keep myself accountable. I'm using you guys with your comments and with, uh, you know, basically coming back and seeing how I'm doing as motivation for me to keep going. Because it's, it's always a tough road. I mean, you, you're going to want to quit hundreds of times. You're going to wake up at 3.30 in the morning and look at the clock and say, why am I even up at this time? You're going to have setbacks. You're going to have something that looks like it's going to be killer. You're going to make millions of dollars just to have it being snatched away. Something happened and it always happens. It happened to me quite a few times. So you need that motivation to move forward. It has to be bigger than yourself. You have to feel the pain. So basically, another way is by changing your entire identity. And that's why that if you watch a lot of these, these gurus on, on YouTube, they talk about you know finding mentors uh, and also um, take a look at the people that you spend the most time with. And, and, and it is actually true. If you take a look at like the 10 people that you spend the most time with, quite possibly, you know, their average income is about what you're making now. And, you know, as a species, as humans, we're actually, you know, we're actually made to live in groups, in like, in like villages, in like, uh, in like communities. So a lot of us actually adapt to whatever's around us. I, I'm sure that's happened to you. You know, you find, you know, you start hanging around with a certain group, you start acting like them. You know, or you start hanging around with a group that messes around all day and jokes around, you start messing around and joking around. You start hanging around the group that studies all day, you became studious. It's it's actually nat like human nature to kind of adapt to the people that are around you. So that is one thing. If you spend a lot of time with successful people, you have the ability to kind of adapt and become like one of them. And a lot of it also deals with fear and identity because once you become close in that connection, you start to feel that you're part of it. And then if you stray, then you're going to lose that side of yourself. And so it's, it's very uh, scary to think that you might lose who you are. So that's a big motivator of becoming successful. So a lot of people out there also talk about, you know, if you don't have access to these types of people, you know, you can read books, you can read um, you know, tons of books about of from successful people and have them be the people that are surrounding you, uh, which I think is partially true because the, the thing is, books are great. The more knowledge you get, the better, the more tools that you have in your tool belt. The issue is, is that there is no execution. They talk about execution, but I know personally that no matter how many times you read somebody did something or somebody like executed this way or somebody like struggled this way, it's not the same as being face to face and seeing it firsthand when somebody actually gets something done and executes. When somebody's actually going through those struggles and actually you see that struggle and you see them overcome that. If you see that face to face with them, side by side with them, it's a hundred times different than reading. So you do need to basically live that moment with them. So honestly, um, that's one of the reasons I'm doing this channel because I'm hoping I can convey that to you guys because uh, a video, uh, a video logging, a vlogging system basically that really kind of goes day by day where you see the progress, you see the execution, you see the failure is the closest thing that you can do besides you know, actually spending time with that person. I think this is the closest thing that I can offer that'll help people you know, become more successful. It's the closest thing if you find other people who are doing these kind of journeys, you know, I encourage you to follow them as well to see what they're doing and just to kind of make that connection. So if you don't have access to the people directly in your life, I think this is the next best thing. You know, mentors are a huge thing too. Um, it's, it is, of course, difficult to find a mentor, but I guarantee you something. If you are very passionate, if you really want it, then the mentors will come. And that's where I'm going back to what I was saying about the desire. It's all about desire. If you have enough desire, if you really want it, you can get it. I mean, think about it this way. There, you know, there's been a lot of motivational speeches, you know, um, there's, there's the one where they're talking about 
the guy that's drowning. You know what I mean? You basically can't think of anything else but to breathe when you're drowning underwater. That's the kind of desire you need to become successful. But if you're not born with that, how do you do it? So this is the point that I want to try to help everybody with. Because there are people out there that are struggling, that have the pain, they're living in poverty, they see their, their mothers or their parents struggling and they wanna make a change, they wanna get out of that bad neighborhood. And to be honest, a lot of people are successful. They came from those beginnings. The more pain you had to wanna to get out and do better, the more likely they became successful in the future. You know, you, you need to have that desire. But if you don't have that pain, you know, what else can you do? You know, in my scenario, you know, I didn't come from a super poor environment. You know, I wasn't rich, but I wasn't living on the street. You know, I didn't have that struggle. Um, you know, I don't have the struggles that a lot of people do if they're, they're homeless or they, you know, they, they're living in their car. I don't have those struggles. You know, but I can create in my mind the same amount of fear with different things. So I'll give you an example of how I'm doing it. I mean, it's going to be different for everybody, but if you can see the process of how I came up with my struggle, then maybe you can do the same thing to motivate you to reach those goals. So I really thought about, you know, my life, what's important to me, what, what can I lose in my life? You know, what potentially can I lose if I don't become successful? And it's kind of hard because to be honest, in the society we, we live in, we're taught to not be greedy. We're taught to live within our means. You know, we're taught, you know, if we have a decent home, we have a decent job, we have our, we have our family, they're healthy, we should be happy. And that is the case for 98% of the people. But if you're here, you're like me. You, you want to have more and it's not because of greed we want to I want to create something I want to see something grow I want to see something get bigger you know I want to prove to myself that I can actually make a change in the world um, not all a hundred percent because of financial reasons but because I want to just make my mark and if you're like me then you you need this so the fear that I have and the, the issue is that, you know, I can say, well, I want my kids to have a good life, you know, so I want to make millions of dollars to have, you know, to be, to have my kids be able to, you know, live lavishly. But I mean, honestly, is, I don't think I really want that. I mean, I don't want them to be spoiled kids. You know, they get to go on vacation. They go to decent schools. They have a roof over their head. Their lives are, are fine. I mean, of course, I would like them to be able to travel more, see more things, but I don't think it's big enough motivation for me to, you know, work the amount of work that I, I'm doing right now because of just that. You know, I love my kids, but, you know, they're not in any struggles, so that's not a good motivation. So it was difficult for me. I, I really thought, I mean, I, I want my parents to have a good life. I want, I want to have a good life. I want to travel. I mean, the material things, you know, I tried that, especially in the past. I did vision boards. I put my Ferraris up there my, and, you know, had all my mansions, you know, but to be honest, I don't think the physical material things are enough to motivate you to go beyond who you are. It takes more. So I dug deep. I dug deep. I dug deep. And Honestly, this is what I came up with, and it's going to be different for everybody, but I know my wife, and she's, you know, she works really hard. She's actually a, a school teacher, and she always, you know, wishes that she have these lavish things, this nice lifestyle, and it's, you know, you kind of think, oh, yeah, that's that would be nice to have, and, you know, that's kind of, that would be fun to be able to go on these vacations, but to be honest, what I thought to myself is that she chose me she wanted the life that i could provide for her if i don't have this success if i don't grow and, and achieve these goals and get i wouldn't be able to provide that dream life that she wanted and it scares me that she'll go through her entire life you know not being able to ever 
have these wonderful things that she's always wanted in her life because it was me that she chose. And, and it's difficult to think about. I mean, I know it sounds kind of superficial, but I mean, deeply, I don't want to have her regret making the decision to be with myself ever because she didn't get the chance to do the things that she wanted to in life. I mean, she, of course she can always try to venture on her own, but she has a passion for what she does. I admire that. She's very, very good at what she does. I don't want her to do anything else. She's, she's in the right place. So really, I believe it's up to me to provide that for her. You know, I don't want her to be 90 years old and not been able to live the life that she wanted to live because I wasn't able to provide that. So that is just my way of thinking. There's always a lot of different angles that you can that you can take. It could be your different family members. It could be a fear. Maybe one time in your life, you were in the gutter. You had that, that moment where you just can't live like that. You can pull that. You don't want to get there again. If you just think about these different things, you'll find something that's strong enough to push you forward something that's strong enough that'll you know get you through the hard times of being an entrepreneur and that's really it once you have that you know you can create the desire and that's all that's required is you need to want it badly and once you want it badly just make it all about your life that's who you are i'm going to give you a disclaimer you may lose some friends you may lose some friends you may Get some family members that'll shake their head. Because why? Because 98% of people have been raised to think that you should go to school, get a job, <laughs> save a retirement, have a, have a stable home, and that's it. They don't understand your desire. They just think at this point you're greedy. You want too much. Just settle for something that's stable and live your life. But that's not you, is it? That's not me. So make sure that you understand who you are. Are you this person? Are you willing to make the change? Are you willing to dig really deep inside to find that fire that'll create that desire that's strong enough to get you through it? Don't worry about what everybody else is saying. They just won't understand. But in all honesty, those who love you, your friends, your family, if they really love you, they would want you to be happy. And if you're watching this, I know that you are not happy unless you achieve success. So please share this video. I think it's gonna help a lot of people. Please like, please follow. You know, I'm gonna make this journey all about you. I'm gonna make sure that everything I do has some value to you guys. Because I, I really honestly wanna help you guys. That's what I want my legacy to be, to be able to help as many people as I can. So until next time, I see you later.